Hi friends, welcome to the class of design and analysis of algorithms. In the previous class, we have seen what is a connected component, what is a bi-connected component, and we have seen what is an articulation point in a connected component. So we'll see now how to find. Let us consider one example. This is a graph where it consisting of 10 vertices. Now, in order to find an articulation point, if I ask you what are an articulation points in this graph, by the concept we can say that here directly 2, 3 and 5. These three are only the articulation points in the entire graph. If you want the clarity, you can check my previous video also. There I explained what are articulation points, how to get an articulation point in a graph. So that is, if you delete that vertex, the graph will be divided into two or more components. So like this, if you see 2, 3, 5, these three vertices will have that property. That's why I can say that these three are articulation point. Now, if I have 100 nodes, let us suppose, if I have 10 nodes here, I told these three are articulation points. But if I have 100 nodes, checking for finding the articulation points is not so easy manually. So what we need to have, we should have a procedure that procedure to be implemented as an algorithm so that we can get the articulation points in a graph. We'll see that one, we'll see that procedure here. So how to get the articulation points through the procedure? We need to get the answer as again 2, 3, 5. Why? Because by manually we are getting the articulation points here. In the procedure also we'll get the same thing. We'll see all that procedure. Listen clearly. Now the first step, construct depth first set tree and provide DFN that is depth first number for each node according to the order of traversing. We'll see what is this. First thing constructing depth first set tree. How to construct? We'll see here. Constructing here, I'm taking the graph. I'll write here. So if you want to know how to construct the depth first set tree, you can check my previous video. I made it. That is how to find the DFS tree. You can check it. Now starting from the vertex one, I first am going for the adjacent vertex among all the adjacent vertices of 1. So what are the adjacents of 1 are 4 and 3. I am selecting, let us suppose I will select 4. I will select here 4. Now one more thing he told is depth first numbers to be given. That is in the order of traversing you need to give the numbering to the node starting from index 1. So first I visited 1, second I visited 4. That is the number 2 DFN of 4 will be 2. Next I want to visit the next adjacent vertex is 3. So of course DFN number is also the next number 3. Next I want to go for adjacent is 2, 9, 10. Among that of course 4 is already visited. I want to go for this first. Any vertex you can take not a problem. So I visited the vertex 10 and the DFN number next number is 4. And now for 10 adjacent is only 3. So already visited. So that's why I need to go backtrack. And again 3. For 3 I want to visit now 9. So the DFN number is after 4. The next number is 5. After 9 what are the adjacent is only 3. That is visited. And go for backtrack for 3. Now adjacents are 4, 10, 9 and 2. These 3 are already visited. Now I need to go for 2. And also care must be taken that there should not be any cycle. Now the DFN num next number is 6. Now for 2 adjacent is 1, 5, 8 and 7. If I take 1 what happens you can see if I want to connect this this will become a cycle. So that's why uh, I don't want to connect this one. And now I'll go for 2 to 5, 7 and 8. 3 options are there. I'll select 5. Anyone you can select not a problem. So the depth first number is 7. Next, I'll select 5. Next adjacency, 6 and 7 are there. I'll select 6 first. So 6 will be selected. The next DFN number is 8. And for 6, adjacent is only 5. Already connected. Again, backtrack. For 5, 2 is connected. 7 is not connected. 8 is not connected. I'll take 7 now. The next DFN number is 9. After 7 adjacents are 5, 2, 8. 5, 2 are already connected. If I connect, it will become cycle. Next, 8 is there. So I'll connect 8 here. 
so the dfn number is 10 like this dfn numbers has to be given and vertices are connected so this is the depth first edge tree so we have completed our first step we'll see again construct the depth first tree and provide the dfn number we have provided dfn number for each node according to the order of traversing now whatever the edges are you are getting in df tree that is divided as tree edges back edges and front edges we'll see what is this tree edges front edges and back edges now here now whatever you are connected in the dfs tree all the things you call them as tree edges these edge 1 2 4 4 2 3 all those edges you call them as df uh, that is tree edges now then second thing back edges what are these back edges what he wants to say is compare your two source graph to the resultant tree now whatever the edges which are not covered in the tree dfs tree you make just as dotted lines let us suppose one two two it is one edge is there but that edge is not connected here just make that ai edge as dotted lines dotted edge you call it as like this now if you take like this 2 to 7 direct edge is there but that is not connected directly here because if i connect it will become cycle now but just represent it with dotted lines now similarly if i go uh, 2 to 8 is there directly but there is no 2 to 8 now i'll take 2 to 8 here yeah check out is there any other ones if you see yeah 5 to 8 5 to 8 direct is there there is no direct edge here i want to connect that with dotted lines so if you check with this here and here also all the edges are covered so like this you need to do now coming to this once again three edges means this thick lines and back edges and front edges of course both are almost similar but you can say here one is a back edge for two one is a back edge for two two is a front edge for one remember this one is a back edge for two two is a front edge for one you need to take back edge and front edges only from the dotted lines not from the thick lines only from the dotted lines you need to check and one more example i'll give two is a back edge for seven two is a back edge for eight seven is a front edge for two eight is a front edge for 2, 8 is a front edge for 5. Like this you need to remember. 2 is a back edge for 8 also. That is also we have seen. And 5 is a back edge for 8. So like this you need to remember what are tree edges, back edges and front edges. Now remember that point. Now the next thing. What we need to observe in the graph. So what he is telling is the root node of the df tree that means depth first edge tree which we have obtained is an articulation point if it has at least two children now you need to check the root node of the resultant tree how many children it has you need to check it so here the root node is one so how many children it have only one children one child it has what he is telling is if it has two children i can say that that root node is an articulation point now Anyway, I'll write here all the articulation points. One, all the vertices I am writing here. So what he's telling is if the root node has two children, but here the root node one has only one child. That's why one cannot be an articulation point. And the second observation, all leaf nodes are not articulation points. You can check in this. What are the leaf nodes? 10 is a leaf node. 9 is a leaf node. And again, if you go like this, 6 is a leaf node and 8 is a leaf node. He is saying that all these four are not articulation points. So 10, 9, 6, 8, 6, 8, 10, 9 are not articulation points. Now, among the remaining vertices 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, what are the articulation points? So here, actually, we need to follow this procedure. It can insisting of two steps. First thing is you need to find the low of u value for each vertex. After that, this condition has to be satisfied. Then only that vertex you can say it is an articulation point. So first step is you need to remember this formula. What is low of u? So this formula you need to remember and 
according to this formula you need to solve okay i'll solve each one law of u here so to find the law of u for each node this is the formula so law of we'll go for one by one law of one so if i substitute here minimum of that is law of one that is u value is one dfn of one here minimum of law of w what is w means it's a child of u so if you see the child of one what are the child of one only one is there that is a node four so law of four and now you can see minimum of dfn of v what is v u comma v is a back edge now you see the back edge of u that is one there is no back edge that's why i put hyphen here so dfn of one will be one minimum of law of four we don't know that is law of four only i'm writing here then hyphen 